is unemployed. They can't two, find a two job. Two-thirds. But in London alone, there's one in every three are unemployed. Is it a yeah, third? I've heard that's, figures that's, like that. Yeah. And I've heard uh, it's actually going to peak to three million unemployed in total. So I'm not really sure. I'm not a statistician, so to, to give quotation, but we need to think, you know, look into the that. The market's in a bad shape, it's, so it's we don't really bad shape, yeah. And, and the government's trying to help. I mean, the government's offering these incentives. It's not a lot of money, but it's a start. It's, it's better than nothing. And, yeah. and you have to remember that most of the big companies are now started in recessions. Microsoft started in a recession. Mm -hmm. Bill Gates left uni. Steve Jobs left uni early. Um, the new guy, um, Facebook guy, what's his name? Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. He didn't even graduate uni. So the biggest companies out there, they start off in recession. So it is a good time to capitalize. So this is the opportunity time. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Um, so the first uh, entitlement that you're entitled to is an £800 self-employment grant. And that's through uh, the Department of Work and Pension. And then also uh, you have something, if you're unemployed, you have a £100 back-to-work bonus, which you're entitled to if you set up a business. If you set up a business and you get that £800, inshallah, then you also get another £100. So take it to £900 in total. On top of that, they also have um, a voucher system. They're not going to give you the cash, but they'll give you uh, vouchers up to £300 that can go towards clothes. It can go, sometimes I've heard cases where they get mobiles, and uh, small computers if you need it for the trade but you have to have a really strong case to, to convince them that you need this mobile and, and laptop for your particular trade if not they'll just say to you here's, here's up to 300 pounds of vouchers um, towards clothes, shoes, you know that kind of stuff yeah um, on top of that um, through the HM and Revenue and Customs they are offering over 200 pounds a month um, the minimum is, is about fifty pounds a week, and then after it goes beyond that. If obviously, if you're married, if you've got children, it depends on your circumstances. But at least you, you're getting yourself uh, this regular uh, backing for a few more, few more weeks until your business takes over. Okay, so you've got that extra fifty pounds coming in as well from HM Revenue, and uh, obviously, if you're renting a property, then they are also giving you uh, a roll-on on to you know helping you with your housing benefits and your council tax and all that stuff so that's just a roll on and obviously it depends which part of the country you're in if you're a single person you, you'll be entitled to something up to 650 pounds it could be more depends on the area um, a, a month that is so you, you need to check with your local um, council regarding that issue um, unfortunately there isn't any help if you have a mortgage so if you if you go into the haram system and you're starting taking out a mortgage and you're paying interest and that stuff you're unemployed no sorry no one's going to help you with any haram stuff so <laughs> you're on your own and that's so you have to pay your own debt your way uh, if it's a mortgage but if it's rent they'll help you with the rent uh, especially if you're going to use that property for business so if you're going to if you're going to work from home initially then it's, it's, it makes it a stronger case yeah and so I've, I've mentioned uh, the entitlement uh, uh, on that side. Th there's the cost side now. There, there is a cost when you're starting up in a business, other than registering a company if you choose to go into a limited company. The cost is uh, £2.40 a week. So if you think about like you're getting, you know, this £50 and you're out of that, you're paying £2.40 a week. And that's called uh, Class 2 National Insurance. And you also have to pay on top of that, 8% class 4 national insurance, 8% of what you actually draw out of the business. So as long as you're not drawing out the business and you're investing it in the business, you don't need to worry about that. But I'm talking about when you start taking income out of the business, then you're starting to pay uh, the class, uh, class 4, 8%. But it's, it's been announced in this budget, it's going to go up to 9%. And we had uh, a tax expert, Tahir Beggs, on the show, and he gave us a, a rundown on uh, this year's uh, tax budget announced here. Yeah? And inshallah, we'll, we'll have him again to give us some tax planning advice in, in future, inshallah. Um, if you want to um, pay the least amount, then make sure that you take out your business um, no more than £450 a month. So if you take £450 a month, you don't need to worry about your, your, your class 2 uh, national insurance. You don't need to pay that £2.40. So that's a way to, you know, if you want to reduce all your outgoing as much as possible, then make sure you take out the business no more than 450 yeah? Once you go over that 450 in a month, then they'll be um, basically asking you for national insurance and tax on 20% tax and all that stuff, yeah? So that's, that's just the way, if you want to start on a small scale, uh, my advice, you know, take 450 pounds and take the, you know, the little 
uh, incentives from the government to help you with your personal expenses initially and inshallah when your business grows then you know pay the tax pay national insurance no problem at all so that that's just for that um, and, and it's not forever so don't get into that zone that comfort zone of saying oh, you know alhamdulillah you know my rent is covered this is covered let me just enjoy life and not do any business the whole purpose of them giving you that is in within few weeks you have to be on your feet and you have to be self-sufficient you can't be depending on the government so this is just a short-term help and they are going to check up on that as well they're not going to just let you go like that okay so that that's basically um, uh, the point and and also uh, we have the tax expert Tahir Beg he mentioned that uh, a Muslim uh, it's better to be uh, the upper hand than the lower hand, the Prophet Muhammad said, it's better to be someone that's contributing to society and giving, earning and giving, than someone that's depending on society. And there's also another hadith where the Prophet actually says that, um, you know, when you, when you actually attain uh, pure money, the halal money, it's better for a believer than, uh, than someone that's actually going around and asking people. If you start going around and asking people and depending on other people, you're only going to increase in poverty. It's not going to make you any richer by, by asking and depending on others. So you have to try to be someone that's independent and contributing than someone that's dependent on others to help. Inshallah. So that's pretty much what we said and my brother also mentioned that we talked about marketing or online and offline marketing. That's right. And this week we was actually going to go into uh, the importance of keeping records accounting. Oh, yeah. Now, there are different s systems, but you have to keep accounts. Uh, if you're not computer literate, if you're not in really technical, you can have a very simple bookkeeping system. Okay? There are training provided by HM and Revenue and Customs. There are also training provided by your local enterprise trust. So, you know, just look around, look in the, on the internet for business link and find out where your local business enterprise trust is and go on some of these free courses regarding uh, bookkeeping. And they usually give you some general advice. Um, in fact, I might actually have an example of a, a, a manual bookkeeping system very very quickly so that this is just a, a manual kind of thing so that this is pretty much you know you just keep you just keep records every time you you know your customer buys from you, you just put the name of the customer uh, you know the amount they've paid or the due whatever so it's just a way to keep records okay this is just on a manual basis but there are also software there's a software called TAS which is very very cheap and you could probably get it for free actually and then uh, I personally for my business I use Sage Line 50 financial controller and pretty much small and medium sized businesses they use Sage the, the big organizations use uh, you know SAPs, PeopleSoft and really integrate solutions so I personally go for the computer side and as a, as a little incentive as well for members in Umacom inshallah I'm gonna start uh, free video tutorials in programming and computerized accounting so I will be giving free lessons in a video format online uh, so you know if someone wants to start adopting a computerized accounting system they can learn free of charge no cost at all on that but for the manual the best thing is to contact Business Link or your local enterprise trust and go for a, um, for a little in, uh, introduction into manual bookkeeping the, the importance of that is because the gov at any point, uh, a tax inspector can uh, a tax inspector can just come in at any time and say to you, "Where's your records? We need to see hard copies of your records." And if you don't have your hard copies, then you can get hit by a very, very, very heavy penalty. So to avoid that, keep your records for your own sake as well. Um, some people I know in business, they go out and they travel, they pay for fuel, whatever, and they say, oh, it's only, what, 20 pounds, and they don't keep the receipt. But it's important to put that, because then you can deduct it away from your profit. So you don't want to give too much away to, to the government. I know you're very generous and you want like giving charity. It's better to give charity voluntarily than <laughs> being forced to pay a tax, which you're not really due, because you're paying, o you're paying over tax in that way. Do you want to add and something, Ashraf? If, if you're looking for a business opportunity, providing something that keeps records for you is a huge, huge opening in the market. It's one of the famous websites, Mint. They provide these personal services. Yeah. They charge for premium for businesses. One of the top of selling iPhone apps is actually a record keeping um, application. And um, there's also new technologies coming out where you can actually um, use your phone as like a credit card swipe. Okay. So you, you swipe your card there and it automatically logs the receipt of what you bought, what you paid for, so you don't have to keep all those many wow. receipts. So it, there's a huge market opening up to keep these records automated to just help out because if you yeah. do get caught out by the tax 
man. You might have, you might be completely innocent, yeah. but it's always guilty until proven innocent in That's their right. eyes. Yeah. You know, they say, where's your records? And you've got to have, what, five years worth? Five years.